Tulani Nguenya has been elected pop crew president after a five-day congress. He replaces Zizamele Trebekulu Makaza, who's been at the helm since 1996. Treasurer Tulani Nsele, meanwhile, has retained his position despite corruption allegations hanging over his head. ENCA senior reporter Desantatia tells us more. After five days, pop crew has elected its new leadership at its 10th National Congress. This will now see the outgoing president, Zizamele Kabukulu, step down after almost three decades at the helm. One of the important issues that arose out of the five days was the issue around government's austerity measures. And the union says it will be taking a strong stance on that to fight that to ensure that its members get the best possible deal out of their employment going forward. But we're now joined by the newly elected president, Tulani Nguenya. Thank you so much for joining me, sir. I know uh, some would say you have big shoes to fill, but you yourself are also a veteran of the union, so it should be an easy transition for you. So firstly, congratulations on that. Your immediate priorities in taking up this new role, what will you be looking at doing? My new priorities is to make sure that uh, as I've received a stable organization, I continue where the legacy of the old leadership have left because we've got clear issues that we need to deal with in correctional service, in SAPS and also in traffic. One which of which is of priority in correctional service will be the ship system that we have to finalize it as soon as possible. In the SAPS will be the one of um, uh, translation of all public service members and create uh, streams that will accommodate them correctly. The third one on traffic, we still maintain, it's been our call that the nationalization of traffic due to the fragmentation of traffic officials, we are crying that we are running short of police officials. <clears throat> but you only find out traffic officials are fragmented all over. In other areas, they are in the Department of Housing, in others are in the Department of Agriculture, of which does not make sense. The Constitution is clear. It says one police agency under one national commission. So that will be my first key priority and also to make sure that we don't leave out what we were fighting for in terms of implementation of Agreement 1 of 2018, the last leg. That one, it's not negotiable. I cannot compromise because workers out there, they are waiting to see whether as we come to the office, it will be just a nice thing to have or we are supposed to be taking where the old leadership have left.